I have another exciting unboxing video for you today. We're going to be talking about this seven and a quarter compound sliding miter saw by DeWalt. The nice thing about this one is it is battery powered. I'll be able to take it on the job site and if I don't have any power or if I don't want to bring my generator with me, I could still get small jobs done with this product. So it's going to help out my business, make things a little bit more efficient and you guys get to come along and see what is inside the box, what comes with it. At the end, I'll give you my honest opinion about it and we'll take it from there. Now that it's unboxed, I could break it down. We have the tool itself, jig to hold the wood into place. We have the tool to replace the blade. It's nice, it already comes with the blade. You do have a sawdust catcher, which all you gotta do is slide that right on. And then it comes with a charger, as well as one battery. And of course, you have your instructions. Sliding the battery into place. I also like that there is a light on it because I do work in some areas that are dark and I don't have light to see. There's a lock mechanism on the back side where I'm touching right now. So in transit, you're gonna push it down and you're gonna lock it. This handle right here is huge, but if you don't wanna grab it by one, you have a handle right here and a handle right here. Again, easier to transport. So once that's unlocked, there's a sawdust catcher in the back the sliding mechanism is smooth. Up and down, the spring is durable. I can see after a lot of uses, it's still going to be durable. We have our angles down here. So if you needed a 45, a 15, a 30, whatever it is, you could tighten it into spot and then make your cuts that way. Also, there is a locking mechanism for you to put your angles on the bottom. So if you needed a 10 degree angle, you could lock it into place and then push it down. It'll snap in. Even if you hit the button, it's not going anywhere. And the product itself is beefy. So it's not cheesy. It's not made out of cheap materials or it's gonna break or it's gonna bend and it's gonna get out of alignment and it'll drive you nuts if it is. The only thing that I'm going to have to do to make sure that everything is okay on it is, of course, with any new saw, you're going to want to make sure that the angles are correct and you're going to have to tweak that and you'll be able to know how to tweak those angles in the instruction manual. I give it a 10 out of 10. It looks good. It feels good. And I can't wait to use it. That's the biggest thing. I can't wait to go ahead and put some trim on the wall, build something small with it. And I'm excited to just, I don't know, use the tool. I'm a man. Every man likes using tools.